Today we're going to add templating language to our HTML. My choice is Twig. It's uh, very popular in PHP community as a server-side templating language, but we also have got Twig.js we can use with JavaScript. Let's do some cleanup. I'm going to move the sources around. So I'm going to create a new folder in here called assets, and I'm going to move all the CSS files and TypeScript files into that folder. Now we're going to have to update our Gulp file. So all the paths for CSS files and all the output paths as well. And I think this is looking good. Let's go back to our rollup config. And also let's adjust our HTML file. We don't need this. We definitely don't need that. So now let's do a quick test. Let's try to run uh, npx gulp dev. And we can see we've got an issue. So when we run gulp dev task, we don't get initial compilation. We're going to sort this out on the very end. But until then, let's just quickly remove all the files. So in our public directory, we're going to delete CSS and JS. Uh, we see we've got our JavaScript files there. Now, to compile CSS, we're just going to save the file. Check our browser. It's still not coming through. Let's have a look. I assume I've got the wrong path somewhere. Let's check HTML again and look like it's here. Let's try this. Our styles are coming through. Now we got the wrong paths for our JavaScript files. So let's fix that. And now we should be where we were before. Now we should be able to add Twig. Let's start with adding views to our project. So let's maximize this. And I'm gonna create a new folder in our sources called views. Inside, I'm gonna create another one called layouts and another called partials. And in the root, we're going to add a new file called index.twig. In our layouts, we're going to add the main layout called main, and we're going to prefix this with underscore. And maybe as an example partial, we say something like message. Let's populate our main layout. Just going to paste this. So this is pretty much the same as we had in our index.html with the exception that we've got the block. So if we extend from this layout, we will be able to populate this block. Now for the index file, what are we doing here? We, we are extending our main layout and we define the block. So when this compiles, this block will be taken and placed in our layout here. So this is looking good. And maybe let's add something into our message like so. Next, we're gonna install twig.js and set up our gulp. So let's open terminal and I'm gonna install dependencies. Uh, we need gulp twig. This is a gulp plugin to interact with twig.js and I'm gonna add rimruff. So now this is done, uh, we can define our tasks. So back in our gulp file, maybe just before here, we're going to create a new task called twig. And we're going to start our stream and return src. 
and we're going to read all the files in our sources, views, and all the files ending with twig extension. Now, if we compile this, every single file will be compiled, and we don't want that. We prefix these files, partials and layouts, with underscore, so we can tell in the glob that we don't want to compile files starting with underscore, and we can do that with next. We're going to pass this through twig.js, so we're just going to say twig here, and then we're going to output our files. The destination is going to be our public directory. Public. Now let's de delete our index.html and try to run this npx group twig and we need to import it so we're gonna say const twig equals require twig group like so let's try to run this again probably is group twig Let's try it again. And now it's working. So if we check our public folder, we should see we've got our index.html file, which is empty. It's so not a good sign. And this is happening before we didn't save our main layout. So if we try to run this again, and check our index.html, looks like everything is working and we get our compile html next we're going to need watcher so going back to our group file we're going to create a new task called twig watch and we're going to use group watcher we're going to watch all the twig files We don't have to exclude anything here. We want to trigger our task even if the partials are changed or layouts. So we're going to say series array and we're going to execute twig. And then last thing we need to add our twig watch to our dev task. And let's try this out npx group dev and looks like a new html is coming through so let's try to edit our index file uh, at the dot it looks like browser was reloaded so maybe let's try to include our partial a message so maybe just in here gonna do include partials underscore message dot twig save that and looks like it's coming through as a last thing let's clean up our public directory we don't want to be staging this in git this is all now generated from our sources so there is no point committing this what we're gonna do we're gonna ignore this folder so we're gonna add this to ignored and also remove git cache so let's do this git rm cached public recursively and now this folder should be ignored never never should be staged uh, this is marked to delete because we already pushed that file but that's okay uh, next let's go to our group file and we can add a new task called public clean And I'm going to execute Rimra from the shell. So we're going to say npx Rimra public. So now if we try this, npx group public clean, we should see that public directory it's removed and this is perfect now we've got a slight problem when we start our watch task we don't get initial compilation so what we're going to do before starting our watchers and servers and so on and so on we're going to compile our resources first 
and then we're going to start the watcher but before anything we're going to also remove public directory so let's reorganize our dev task so what we're going to do first uh this is running in parallel and this is good uh, let me grab this we're gonna run everything in series like so we're gonna have an array of tasks now the first task we want to execute it's gonna be public clean then we're gonna have the task running in parallel this is another array and then on the very end, we're going to have our watch tasks executed. Like so. Now, so what's going to happen? We're going to run everything in series. So public clean will execute first. Then we're going to execute our initial compilation in parallel. After this completes, we're going to start our dev server and all the watchers. And here, what we want to do, we want to run our scss dev we also want to run our twig to compile our html and we need to compile our typescript but we don't have compilation in dev mode so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this task and call this dev and we're going to pass our config dev into it so we get one time compilation in the dev mode and then we're going to add this task to our array of parallel tasks now if we try this npx gulp dev we get an error a css dev never defined because i've got a typo in here let's try again So now everything should be fine. So now what's going to happen every time we execute dev task, the public folder will be cleaned. But at the same time, we're going to get initial compilation and then all the watchers are going to be started. If you like this video or this video helped you in any way, please remember to smash that like button or even subscribe. As always, I will include the link to the GitHub repository in the description. Thank you for watching.